Now to a terrifying morning for one family in Macomb County. They were rear-ended and it was no accident. Police say the driver responsible got out of the car, pointed a gun at the family, then tried to steal from them. It happened in Chesterfield Township on Fairchild near 23 Mile Road. Sean Lay has video of police getting the suspect off the streets. Well, good evening from Chesterfield Township. People we're talking to tonight say this is absolutely outrageous. Investigators telling us they believe this guy was so desperate to rob someone for drug money that early this morning he was hanging out here on 23 Mile near Chesterfield, right in front of the mire, looking for just the right victim. This is 32 year old Simon Donka from Sterling Heights, and he had a lot to say in a new Baltimore court today. I know I've done a terrible mistake. I would have never done this terrible mistake if I wasn't influenced on drugs. That terrible mistake caught on camera. Watch closely 1230 this morning on Fairchild, just north of 23 Mile in Chesterfield Township. Police say Donka intentionally rear ends a car, forcing it to spin out. Our victims come to the side of the road, come to a stop and feel they were involved in a traffic crash. They're innocently thinking nothing suspicious is going on. This was no accident. The victims, a woman driving her two elderly parents home, say Donka demanded her purse and her mother's purse, and he made it clear that he had a gun. If you don't give me that purse, I am going to shoot you. When she was unable to reach her purse in the back seat, he pointed the weapon at her mother, who was seated in the back seat, and uh, uh, told her that she'd give him the purse or she'd be shot. Donka drove off and drove right by a Macomb County Sheriff's deputy and watch. At gunpoint, deputies easily take Donka down. I don't even have a gun. I don't own a gun. I've, I've, I've shot I, one gun my entire life, and now it's up north. They uh, believed uh, the item that you had with you to be a gun. We are live tonight. So what was in his hands? Police say no gun was found, but a hammer was found and the judge says it did not matter if he did not have a gun or not. He indicated he had a gun. The victims believed he had a gun. So tonight Donka is being charged with two counts of armed robbery and felonious assault for that rear ending of the trio in that car. It's being held on $100,000 bond. We're live tonight. Sean Light, Local 4.